Now, in random variables, there are three measures that we could compute, like the mean, the variance, and the standard deviation, just like the regular group of numbers that we did in the previous semester. Now, to find the mean and the variance of random variables, we follow certain formula. So I'm showing you a general form of a probability model. So we have the value of x represented by x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, up until x sub n. And the probability will be p sub 1, p sub 2, p sub 3, all up up until p sub n. So the number of x's and p's that you will have in your probability model is dependent on the number of samples you have. Now to find the mean, which is also called as the expected value, will be given by this formula, which is summation of x sub i times p sub i. Now to use this notation or formula in statistics, all you have to do is to multiply x sub i and p sub i and then add them all up together. That's why we have the summation symbol. So if we have a probability model to compute for the mean, it is simply x sub 1 times p sub 1 plus x sub 2 times p sub 2 plus x sub 3 times p sub 3 and then add them all up and you'll have your mean. Now once again, in certain word problems, sometimes they're not going to ask you explicitly what the mean is of a certain distribution. Sometimes they will ask you to find the expected value of a certain distribution. And when that happens, you just need to remember that expected value is the same as the mean. So what is being asked is to actually find the mean of a certain distribution. Now for the second measurement, or second measure, we'll have the variance. And it's denoted by this symbol, sigma squared, which is your variance. And to find the variance, the formula that you will use will be the summation of the square of the difference of x sub i minus mu of x times p sub i. So if you'll notice in this variance, or in the formula for the variance, you should have your mean ready to be able to use the formula for the variance. So before you can use this, you need to be able to find mean of the distribution first. And for the standard deviation, all you have to do is to take the square root of your variance and you'll get your sigma, which is simply your standard deviation. Now let's have an example on how we could use the, these formula in certain random, num random variables in uh, a word problem in statistics. Now in this example, Gabby is a sales associate at a large auto dealership and she is motivated um, by using probability estimates of her sales. So for a sunny Saturday in April, she estimates her car sales as follows. So this is her table of values or the probability model that she has. So for um, not selling any cars, the probability of that happening will be 30%, one car will be 40%, two cars will be 20% and three cars will be 1%. Now once again, the probability model is just a random probability model that Gabby made. Now, the task here is to find the mean and the variance of the probability model or the random variable. And using the formula, we're going to be able to find the mean and the variance of um, Gabby's probability model. So for the mean, the formula that we will use will be the summation of x sub i times p sub i. And for the variance, it will be the square of x sub i minus mu of x times p sub i. Now we're going to organize our data set into tables so you can easily um, see how the flow of your formula is when you're using formulas such as mean and the variance. So this is my table. My x sub 1s are all organized on the first column. My p sub 1 or p sub i will be organized on the second column and it's all given in the problem. Now to find the mean according to the formula, just multiply x sub i and p sub i and then add them all up. And that's what we're going to do. So for the first row, 0 times 0.3 is 0. We'll have 0 0.4, 0 0.4, and 0.3 for the first four samples that we have. And to find the mean, all we have to do is to add them all up. And the sum of x sub i times p sub i for this problem will be 1.1. So the expected value or the mean of the number of cars that Gabby might be able to sell for this particular probability model is 1.1 cars. Now to find the variance, we will use the formula still. Since we have the formula, which is the square of x sub i minus mu of x, times p sub i, all we have to do is to uh, substitute it verbatim and uh, use the calculator to solve for each one. So for the first row, our um, data set will be 0.363, the second row will be 0 0.004, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0, 0 0.0,
0.162 and the last row will be 0.361. So once again, you have to make sure that you know how to use the formula that I am showing you on the um, presentation so you'll be able to understand how I'm getting those values. And then to find the variance, all you have to do is to add them all up. So the variance for this particular distribution will be 0.89 using our formula. So that's how we use the mean and the variance or how we find the mean and the variance of a random variable using the formula that I just presented.